Wow, I, I'm at a loss for words with this thing, to be completely honest with you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Aimbox Gun Review. Uh, today we are covering the SKS. Uh, this gun was actually just released yesterday as of, uh, what is it today? June the 11th. Um, so I figured it's a new kind of DMR gun, so I figured let's go make a quick video about it and see what it's all about. Um, now, the DMRs are kind of an interesting area. Like, the only really good ones are like the FAL and the SDMR. Those are the only two notable ones that really come to mind as being like actually usable rifles. But fingers crossed the SKS is actually worth using because DMRs are really fun to use and I'm hoping it's good, but we'll have to see. Uh, but let's get into the game and see what the recoil is like and see what build we're going to use today. Alrighty, so let's go over the stats real quick here. So the SKS is a four-star gun. It has an eight mag. The damage is 44 for body, 68 for headshot, and has a 1.5 times modifier. So it turns body shots to a 69 and headshots to a 102. So it can one-shot headshot under circum cer certain circumstances. Reload time is three seconds and the RPM is 380. So definitely a low fire rifle. Let's just kind of check out the recoil, see what we're dealing with here. So pretty much the exact same as the SDMR. Uh, let's check ADS. Okay, so pretty tight spread, but at long range, you're going to have to really wait and reset your recoil. So it seems interesting. Uh, let's go put a build on, see how we're going to build this out, and then we'll try it out in game. Alrighty, so here's the really weird thing about this gun. I can't find a good build for this thing that's actually reliable. Um, I tried with the Dragunov scope and a couple like l uh, low recoil attachments, but it makes it so that the damage isn't enough, at least by my math, to actually one-shot headshot, so it kind of just ruins the gun. Um, so what I ended up going with is uh, I went with an angled grip and a muzzle brace and that muzzle brake, I apologize, and then a red dot. But the problem is, is that it has the DMR problem where it just recoils all over the place. So, I'm not sure how good this is going to be in game, to be completely honest with you, because, like, using a red dot as a sniper isn't really that good. I feel like this may be, like, a hip fire only gun, but I'm not sure. We're going to have to see how it plays out in game. I'm still trying to think this out, and all, my, and all the testing I've done, just, this gun is just bad. It's just terrible. I, 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 there's no build on this gun that works. Like, the only way you can play with this game is if you play it like a sniper, but it just has such poor recoil. It, this gun, I, I genuinely can't think of a good way to use this gun. I'm gonna try, like, doing a, like, a hip fire build. Maybe that's the play? But this gun is very bad. Very, very bad. This gun feels like a, like a, what's the name of the, the, the Tabor or whatever the hell it is in the SRS-80. It feels like the, that type of gun. It's good for cleaning up pills, I guess, but the fact, it just does so little damage. And the mag size just destroys it. Like, if there are any positives about this gun, the mag size just removes it because you have to reload so frequently. And the reload's so long, you cancel it constantly. Yeah, I'm... Wow, that didn't hit. Yeah, you have to play this like a... You have to play this so... Run and gunny. But not in a good way. I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm racking my brain to think of what other build I could put on this to make it, like, usable, quote-unquote. But I can't think of any. I really can't think of a build that works on this. I'll, I'll be completely honest with you guys. The fact that it doesn't headshot, I think, is the most atrocious. Like, the, the fact that it doesn't one-shot kill at, at, like, ranges beyond, like, five meters from you is, is, I think, what's killing this gun. That and the mag, 100%. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't... I, I mean, this lobby is pretty dead, like, so it's not the greatest. But, like, that's the thing is, this gun looks like it's good, but this lobby's dead. So that's the only reason this gun's looking good, because I'm not getting, like, I'm not getting jumped on by, like, four or five people at the same time. That's the only reason it looks good in any way, shape, or form. Huh. So, like, if this was a full lobby, oh, I, I wouldn't be able to do anything, right? Because right now I'm just getting isolated fights. So, like, I can, I can pick off people, like, one by one, but... Wow. That doesn't even hit from that range. That is crazy. Yeah, this gun is... this gun is bad. 
This is a bad gun. Yep. I'm try. I I can't even think of a way to make this usable. I know I've said that like four or five times, but I genuinely cannot think of a way to make this usable. Maybe if you like quick scope it, but then you're like super inaccurate. 94 damage at that range for a DMR. That should be it. That should be a headshot kill, in my opinion. Maybe maybe it's bugged. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay, so. Doing like quick scoping is like a little more reliable, but not by much. That didn't hit either. Okay, so I'm kind of. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Where are my bullets going? What? Wow, this is a bad gun. Okay, I mean, a headshot that range for once. That's something. It actually did something. Yeah, I, I don't know about this one. It, 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 like, it's the same issue as the Tavor. Like I said earlier, the Tavor and the SRS-80 are like weird guns like this. They only headshot like super weird ranges. Like it's only close range where they actually headshot. It's the same issue with this one. And again, like, the only reason I'm doing any kind of, like, I'm doing reasonably well in this lobby is because this lobby's dead. That's the only reason why. If this was a full lobby, I'd be getting fried right now. Like, if there were good players in this lobby, I, I wouldn't be able to do a single thing. I shouldn't, I, I should not be winning this lobby in any way, shape, or form. This gun is too bad for this to be good. Wow, I, I'm at a loss for words with this thing, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so it looks it looks like at least if you quick scope it, it's like kinda kinda usable. But it's still really bad. I can't I can't believe I won that lobby. Wow. I genuinely can't think of any good use case for this gun. Because any use case in my head I can think of, a Tavor is better because it has a better mag and you can actually put proper attachments on it as easy to use recoil. The revolver has terrible hit detection, but at least it can still headshot semi-reliably. Sure, it has a smaller leg mag, but it actually does damage. And the Dragonov is just better than this in every shape or form, and the Dragonov is, like, in my opinion, one of the worst guns in the game. Uh, yeah, wow. I... The fact that the SKS is a four-star blows my mind. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you guys. I can't believe this gun is a four-star. I don't even know what to rate this thing. It's so bad. I literally can't think of a way this gun's good. I'm gonna do it. This gun, the SKS, receives the first ever 1 out of 10 for the Aimblocks interview series. This gun is abysmal. Don't use this thing. What? If you did, even if they buff this thing and make it so it headshots at pretty much any range similar to a sniper, don't use it because the mag size is so low, you're better off using other guns. There's literally no reason to use this gun. It's that bad. I can't think of a general. I, I can't think of a, uh, a single use case scenario for this gun, and I feel like an idiot too because I leveled it up to level three, thinking it was going to be a good gun. Hell, now I think what the foul is even better than this because the foul does more consistent damage and has a better mag. Yeah, the foul. The foul is even better than this. The foul is not arguably speaking not even that good either, because the only way you can use this gun is if you're using it as a quick scope rifle. That's the only way you can use it. Wow. Yep, okay, yeah, 1 out of 10. That, 1 out of 10. That is the worst gun in aimblocks, right there. There you have it! <laughs> Man, I, uh, I really hope they don't put out another gun like this ever again. Goodness gracious. Alright, well anyways, that's my thoughts on the SKS. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content. I know I'm, like, ranting about how bad this gun is, but hey, that's, that's part of the job. Uh, thank you again for watching, much appreciated. If you think I'm wrong, or if you think I'm missing something with the build, and there's something changed, or if they change it in the future, leave a comment down below, because I will revisit it at some point to see if it actually is bugged. Um, but let me know. See, uh, maybe we'll revisit it in a couple months after they change it, or hopefully change it. We'll see. Um, um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.